Hey guys, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Feral Marketing Guru. Great to be with you Tuesday afternoon here in Sydney town. Um, hopefully you're having a fantastic day, evening, wherever you happen to be. I've uh, got a real interesting one that happened last week. I thought I'd jump on, share, because it's such a great example of why most people are just never going to be successful in getting referrals. And it's simply what we say they've got a transaction mindset. So let me just share what took place because really now I look back on it, it's actually quite amusing to think that this is how the majority of people are. So well, there's this guy who's on, on LinkedIn, he's on our Facebook also. So here he is, I remember reaching out to him like about, probably about a good year ago because he works with the same sorts of people that we work with. And I went, hey, there's probably some things that we can do to collaborate and let's sort of just enhance our relationship and see what, what we might better do together. So I sent him a message, hi name, uh, hope you're doing great. Love to be able to find out more about what you're doing and see if there might be some ways that we might be able to collaborate. Pretty simple message, no response. Send him a happy birthday message, no response. So yeah, not a problem. You know, sometimes that's people are too busy and people have got other stuff going on. Totally get it. So that's absolutely fine. So then out of the blue, we get a message from, from them on our Facebook. I oh, love what you're doing. Love to be able to chat and see um, the sorts of things that you're up to. Great. Let's book in a quick call. So we get on a call, get on Zoom. Can you do this for me? 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 When you only worry about yourself, you only worry about how other people are going to help you. When you only worry about what's in it for you, you are not going to get very far. See, whether you think you are in a business to consumer game, a business to business game, you're not. You're always in a human to human game. And it's no different whether it is how you work with your customers, your clients, whether it's how you deal with your partners, or whether it's just simple relationships you have in your business. You are constantly in a human to human game. So when you have a transaction mindset of how am I going to get people to do this for me? How am I going to get people to share my stuff? How am I going to get people to fill my things? How am I going to me, 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 me? Very soon, you're not going to have anyone wanting to do anything for you because whether we like it or not, through social media, this world is really small. And it doesn't take long for you to be known as a transaction thinker. That the only time you ever speak to people is because you want something. And if you become known as one of those people, very shortly, you're not going to have anyone who wants to do anything to be able to help you. So what's the big message from here? It's how do you go from being a what's in it for me, what's in it for me, it's all about me, what's in it for me type of person to becoming a how do we do things together? What can I do to help you? See, it's amazing how many people are willing to help you when you ask how can I help you first? In fact, for the majority of people, they'll go out of their way to be able to help you, to be able to do things for you. When you simply go first in asking people, hey, so what can I do for you? What can I do to help you? Is there something I can do to promote for you? Is there something I can share for you? When you're that type of person, you'll be amazed how many other people within your networks who will actually then decide to be able to do things for you. So if you're someone who wants events filled, if you want your next webinar filled, if you want people to promote things for you, ask yourself this, what are you doing to be able to actually help other people? Or are you just simply the taker and never the giver? Because if all you are is the taker and never the giver, no one's ever going to go out of their way to be able to help you. I'm more than happy to be able to promote anyone Bring people together. I don't need anything for that to happen. But it's always nice when you come across the right level of thinkers who understand that it's about law of reciprocity. It's about giving just as much as taking. 
And when you start off with that, it's amazing how many more good things will happen for you. So what's a simple solution to not being a transaction thinker? Well, a simple solution is to be what we call a farmer, plant seeds, help others, harvest the crop multiple times a year, because your natural instinct is to give, help, collaborate, rather than to take. Now, anyone can change their mindset around that. For most people, they just don't know what they don't know. And that's why they're being told, hey, go and ask people to do this for you. Go and get other people to do this for you. And don't think anything else of it. And it's probably why we exist. Because in the end, it's great to be able to build networks and build communities where people actually want to help one another. You get so much more done through collaboration than to try to do things all by yourself. So just ask yourself, are you a transaction thinker because you take, 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 or do you try to do just as much giving? And I know for most people who are jumping on watching this, you are people who enjoy giving at the same time. It's something we talk about now with, uh, with Soph, so it's four and a half. You catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. It's just exactly the same thing. It's the same philosophy. You get more people helping you with honey than you do with vinegar. Hopefully that's been super helpful, guys. I've got a special treat here. I'm going to put a link in the comments box below. If you haven't grabbed our nine-point referral game plan yet, completely step-by-step -step how we generate anywhere between 30 and 40 qualified referrals a day. I'm going to put the link in the, in the comment box, but it's referralmarketingguru.com.au forward slash game plan. You want to grab a copy of that so that you can start building your million dollar referral system also, just like our partnership club guys do and what we use day in, day out to be able to fill our leads bucket for us. Most importantly, let's get away from being transaction thinkers and being more what we call power or transformational thinkers. Have a great afternoon, evening, depending on where you are in the world, and I look forward to catching up with you real soon. Take care.